Nej, Morten, vad är er det du håller på med nu då? Jag trodde du skulle sluta att tulla. Nej va. Okay. Det er jobben min, synes jeg mm. Hva er det du har funnet? Jeg har et leketøyspiano fra Fretex En bra kilde for billig elektronik Og skrot uh, Og så har jeg begynt uh, Pirkejobben med å uh, Sette i kontakter, nye kontakter På hver tangent uh, Sånn at det, hvis jeg trykker For eksempel her Oops så, uh, så kan jeg trigge da hun Med de første tangentene Så uh, nu har jeg bare rukket fire Eh, fyra kontakter mm. men eh, man kan då utvida så. Men det du gör det är er att när du får eh, kontakt där så sender du ström eh, in i de motorerna som du fortalt om i stad. Ja, stämmer det. Enkelt och grejt. Mm. Jag sa ju att du skulle få nytt liv till nå men den här kunstig intelligensen den har vi inte längre. F- Extremt lite intelligens bortsett från det som är er med så vill jag i och med att jag ska spela men eh, men artig. Ja. Ok, vis mig. Ja, vi måste spela något trist. Eh, någon begravningsmusik kanske, i och med att han är er en smula död. Ja. Vi kan ta den här. Var lite dåligt spelat men For this project, you'll need an ISIB RoboDog, a toy synthesizer, some old telephone cables. These are solid core, and we also need a clipper to retrieve them. A breadboard, a solder iron, a 9 volt battery, some alligator clips, and aluminium tape. First, we cut off a piece of the telephone cable to get to the solid core wires within. Solid core is great for soldering and it's really easy to connect it to the breadboard. We then attach the battery to the breadboard. The power will go all the way down this row and the ground will go down the other. This way we can retrieve as much ground and power as we wish from the battery. Take four wires and put them into the row with the ground. Then open your toy synthesizer. Take the aluminium tape and cut off a piece about 2 cm wide. Measure it up against the keyboard on the synthesizer to make sure it fits. Then you attach the tape under the piano key. Use a screwdriver to push it in place. Cut two more strips of aluminium tape about half a centimeter wide. These will be our contact points. Attach it to the plate at the bottom like this and the other one as well. Attach two alligator clip wires. The red one is for power out, the yellow one is for power in. I've done this with three other piano keys as well, one for each leg of the dog. When we press the piano keys, the aluminium tape will connect the circuit and send power to the appropriate leg of the dog. Connect the four yellow wires to the power row on the breadboard. The power goes from the battery, through the breadboard, into the synthesizer and out to these four red wires. Now remove the cover of your dog's legs. I've already removed the screws, but beware that these toys often have really strange screws, so it might be hard to find the right screwdriver. Each leg has two motors. I solder wires to each power and ground of each of the eight motors to make them more convenient to work with. Twist the power cords on both motors together and the ground wires on both motors together. This way I can control both motors with the one piano key on the synthesizer. The ground goes to the battery through the breadboard and from these four wires. Attach these to each of the four ground wires on the dog's legs. And the power goes from the battery through the breadboard, through the synthesizer and out to these four wires. Now attach these to each of the four power cords on the dog's legs. The circuit is now complete. Each piano key will send power to their respective leg. Very nice. Now let's add some gadgets. Okay, I've cheated a little. Uh, I opened the dog's head up and uh, I attached wires so I can connect power to the dog's eyes. The light on the synthesizer blinks every time I press the key. Detach the two wires from the synthesizer. Attach alligator clip wires from the light wires and to the wires in the dog's mouth. Make sure to get the direction right. If it doesn't work, switch the wires. Now the dog's eyes blinks every time I press a key. Fancy! It can even play songs. So there you have it. Your very own toy synthesizer controlled animatronic Frankenstein dog.